Hello everybody, my name is Griffin, talking to you guys from Rishi Outpost. The long await is finally over, and we now have the first three episodes of The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, and I am absolutely thrilled to talk about them. First of all, this video contains spoilers for The Mandalorian, so if you haven't seen the first three episodes of this show, do yourself a favor and go check them out before coming back here to watch my review. I initially wanted to make a review for each episode as it came out, but my bad planning and busy schedule prevented that from happening. Going forward, I hope to put out a review for each episode for the rest of the season. I have to start out by saying in no uncertain terms that this show is absolutely fantastic. It looks and sounds great, the score is unique, it has compelling action, and the Mandalorian himself is a solid character based on what we've seen so far. I'm really happy that the show was given the time, money, and talent it was given, as it really is movie quality work, and most importantly to me, the story has been very compelling to this point. The show is absolutely delightful to look at and listen to. It really is authentic Star Wars. There's a perfect mix of new and familiar alien species and technology. Sometimes TV shows don't have the budget to make these aspects as good as possible, but this show feels like a half hour long Star Wars movie every single time. The action in this show is also fantastic. We're only on episode 3, and we've already gotten to see Cantina Brawls ending with people getting chopped in half by doors, a Mandalorian and an IG droid mowing down outlaws, the disintegration of multiple Jawas and other beings, and we've even gotten a whole Mandalorian tribe flying down on jetpacks fighting an all-out battle with outlaws in order to rescue one of their own. The show is creative enough to have great Star Wars action, even without lightsaber duels or space battles, which are usually staples of the franchise. The character development in this show is solid and quite unique. Our main character, the Mandalorian, aka Din Djarin, has never taken his helmet off showing his face, and he has relatively few lines of dialogue. That being said, he's already been effectively shown to be tough, determined, and compassionate through his actions and limited lines of dialogue. The other secondary characters have also been cool, especially the Ugnaught Kuil and IG-11. I'm really hoping IG-11 will return in the future, although he looked pretty destroyed at the end of the first episode. The storyline so far has been really great. Seeing the Mandalorian track down the infant of Yoda species in the first episode, seeing him handle and bond with it in the second episode, and seeing him reluctantly give it up and then come back for it at the end of the third episode has been a very satisfying and original story, and I'm really excited to see where it all goes next. The new lore we've gotten in the show so far has been pretty limited, but I have a feeling we will get a lot more probably even in the remaining episodes of the first season. So far, some cool things of note are that the Mandalorian's village was attacked by the Separatists during the Clone Wars, some structure of how the Bounty Hunters Guild works, a glimpse at what a young member of Yoda's species looks like, and tracking fobs are devices that can literally track the location of any individual bounty, and they seem a bit overpowered and ridiculous if you ask me. But overall, the the show hasn't done too much to the lore, good or bad yet. With Dave Filoni in a leading role, I'm not too concerned about this. Overall, the show has been really good. I can't say this was a surprise to me, as I had pretty high expectations for Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau teaming up on a live-action show with a budget of about $15 million, but it has not disappointed in the slightest. I'm really excited to see the rest of this season, and I'm glad the show is getting a second. This is the way to make good Star Wars. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on The Mandalorian in the comments, as well as any other thoughts you have about this video as well. Until next time, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you, always. Do we take prisoners? I don't.